Hey everybody, this is Ioannis from the Diversified Validator Network. We operate Moonriver and Moonbeam collators. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to stake your tokens, your Moonbeam Glimmer tokens. Um, so I assume you've already set up MetaMask and you've added the Moonbeam network to it and your, uh, your uh, Moonbeam Glimmer address. If you haven't, then just follow the link in the description that uh, explains to you how to do so. Uh, so assuming you've done that already, then head over to apps.moonbeam network uh, Moonbeam. I'm gonna just refresh the uh, the page here so that you see the first page that you're gonna see if you follow the link. Uh, and here you should be able to see your balance. Um, and uh, just note that this amount here is gonna increase for the next uh, two years, which is the vesting period. Um, and so you can you know keep coming back here and claiming that amount. But what we really wanna do right now is take our funds. So click on manage delegations. And note that we only have 25 uh, glimmer right here. I, sh I should have taken care of adding more Glimmer here, but I didn't want to use the account for anything else really. So um, th the reason uh, I should have added more Glimmer is because the minimum amount to stake is 50. Uh, but I can take you th th through the entire process uh, nevertheless. Uh, so click on Select Collator. You're going to be presented with a list of collators. Um, and uh, really right now everybody just seems to have about the same values. Um, so, you know, if you've been uh, staking with the collator in Moon River uh, and he's been doing a good job, by all means, go ahead and stake with them again. Uh, you should be able to find their name here. Most of them are in Moonbeam as well. Uh, if you want to, if you haven't, if you don't know who you want to stake with and you want to research this, research this a little bit more, uh, then you can use our website that is at stakeglmr.com. And basically, this is a website we set up um, so that you can easily compare collators. I'm going to post a link to a video that goes through how to use this website in a lot more detail. Uh, but suffice to say that what you want is a collator with a high blocks per round and a low backing. The higher the blocks per round and the lower the backing, the more rewards you're going to make. However, because Moonbeam has just launched, uh, backing is going to change dramatically over the next few uh, days. Uh, so it doesn't really make sense, you know, to if, if one collator that, that is giving a very high RP right now uh, might uh, be giving a very low RP in the next round because lots of people went and, uh, you know, stacked with them. Uh, so I would come back to this website maybe about a month later and see, uh, compare again the RPs of the collators. Uh, for now, you might want to just, uh, you know, focus on uh, blocks per round or even better, uh, just go through every collator and visit their websites and just use one that you trust. Um, our collator is a diversified validator network, and of course, we'd love it if you stake with us. Um, but by all means, uh, choose one that uh, matches your risk profile uh, and inspires you. Uh, maybe you know they, their logo is, uh, is is cool looking, but that's that's a good reason. No. Uh, so the next step you want to take is once you note down the name of the uh, collator that you want to stake with, uh, you might want to also copy their address. Go back to Moonbeam. Uh, uh, the apps.moonbeam.network uh, application. You only want to be staking through this application or polka.js.org um, because, you know, staking will uh, use your key, your private key, uh, and you really want to be using uh, the right application, uh, one that you trust to do that. Uh, so just go through the list, find the collator that you want to stake with. I'm going to choose our collator for now, which is all the way down in the list, uh, and enter the amount that you want to stake here. I only have 25 right now in this wallet, so... I can't really press the delegate button, but if I did, then uh, MetaMask would pop up a window and say approve the transaction, which I'm sure you've seen before. All you have to do is click approve and wait for the staking to go through. Note that uh, this staking, uh, to unstake the funds, you need to wait for seven days. Uh, so don't stake your funds if you plan to liquidate it, uh, to liquidate them in the next week. Um, but however, if you don't plan to sell your funds in the next uh, week or two, uh, then I would advise you stake them because current API, API, API is over 500%. This is going to fall very fast, uh, but it's still going to be in the double digits, high double digits. Uh, that's especially since the, there's a low number of circulating tokens right now um, and the take fly, flight distribution won't happen for another month. Well, for another 20 days, no, 40 days rather. Uh, so all that time, uh, the app is going to stay pretty high. Uh, and there's no reason why not, uh, why you shouldn't stake your funds and enjoy that uh, high return rate uh, if you're not going to be, you know, you know, transferring them or selling them. Uh, so hopefully uh, you, this video has been useful. Um, and uh, if you are considering our collator, uh, I would just like to mention that we have 100% uptime in both Moonbeam and Moonriver. We're in the top 15% right now in terms of blocks per round, but this could change. 
Um, and we are using custom failover microservices on AWS uh, to make sure that if a collator server doesn't work, then it's moved over to the backup. Uh, or if that doesn't work, then to the third backup. To the third backup. Um, so, uh, and you can always, you know, call us or send us an email uh, if uh, you want to ask us anything about staking uh, or you, you're just mad and you want to vent off. So thank you very much for watching the video and have fun staking.